We are going to talk about the game of death. It's Thank a controversial you. new show on French television. All right. And uh, it's based on the 1961 Yale experiment by Stanley Milgram that had to do with the electric shocks. Which I'm familiar with, actually. Right. Yeah. A very, very controversial study that was done back in the day. And uh, this French game show is basically doing the same thing. Now, let me explain what it is. So the contestants are able to uh, shock people in an electric chair or something, right? And they're able to control the power of the, or the voltage of the shock. Right, and um, w what we found from the show is that 81% of the contestants were persuaded to administer painful electric shocks to a victim, and up to 240 volt charges. Okay, so as long as they were encouraged by the audience to, you know, up the shock, they would do it. Right. 81%. Um, also, 16 out of the 80 con uh, contestants refused to administer the electric shocks, even with uh, encouragement from the audience. Now, the contestants didn't know that the people that they were shocking were actors. They weren't actually getting shocked. And um, in the end, some of them uh, pretended as if they died. Right. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a controversial show, but I think it's a very, very interesting show because of the fact that it shows you that encouragement can cause you to do anything and I kind of tie this into a story that we did yesterday I don't know if you saw the video of the tea partiers uh, degrading that man with yeah. Parkinson's disease Brian Unger and I were talking about it and how uh, we were amazed that the man sitting on the street and you have tea partiers throwing money at him and telling him there are no free handouts and they were being so cruel to that man and we were wondering how they could possibly do that and not feel guilty about it. But if you go back to the video and you watch it, they're all encouraging each other. So encouragement can have a real impact on human behavior. Right. And it's why they call it mob psychology. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in a sense, everybody's comparing it to these 1961 experiments. It's a little different mm -hmm. because the 1961 experiment was uh, the book the, the the experimenter wrote about it was called obedience to authority right in that case everybody did it because a figure of authority said it's okay give them more give them more in this case it, what makes it interesting and a little different is that everybody did it because the crowd said give them more give them more so it's that mob psychology it's the math psychology but I'll ask you really how different is that from Fox News push, pushing torture? You know, if you think about it, it's kind of a metaphor for our whole country over the last 10 years. Yes. America always said, we don't torture prisoners. We follow the rule of law. We follow the Geneva Convention. We stand up for what's right. And in the last 10 years, all of America has been, uh, or a big chunk of America, has been like the contestants on the game show. Yeah, torture them. Yeah, give them what's coming. You know, yeah. those bastards, you know, stick it to them. That's right, you're doing the right thing. So to me, uh, you know, this, a lot of people are going to say, ah, crazy Frenchman. But to me, this is us we're talking about. Yes, and you mentioned the manipulative power of television, and that was one of the reasons why this uh, game show did this experiment. They wanted to see how manipulative television is, how people get con encouraged to do things that are evil and right. that are taboo and not basically acceptable in any way, shape, or form. So I found this study to be really great. And the, the reason why they did this is because it's going to be part of a a uh, television documentary about the manipulative power of television. So. Well, I think that's great. And I also really like your point about connecting it to the story yesterday about the Tea right. Partiers, because that is also an example of a mass psychology. I have such mixed feelings about the Tea Partiers, because on the one hand, I understand they're not well-educated, they're frustrated, they're scared, so they get together with other people. But then when they get together, horrible things happen. It gets violent, because right. they all encourage one another. Right. It's amazing that you can keep going, you can keep administering those electric shocks when someone is in so much pain just because you have an audience encouraging you to do so.